so all night I've been, uh, well, let me say it again. All day I've been contemplating on whether or not I want to be talking about the subject I'm about ready to talk about. So I'm very hesitant to talk about the subject I'm about ready to talk about. Um, and the reason being is I've talked about it so many times in the past. And it kills me to have to do it again. Um, not that I have to, but I, I need to. There's no hiding it. Over the last two years, I've put on a lot of weight. Um, for you guys that are new to the vlog or don't know, I had lost 100 pounds actually on the dot. And I ran a full marathon. I trained for it. I was really good. Um, and the thing that's kind of funny is is I got my nutrition really, really good for a long time. And I don't even know if I've told Shailene this, but uh, the funny thing about it is when you're training for a marathon, you get to eat a lot more. And I think just because you're burning so many calories when you're running. When I was in football, growing up in high school and stuff, it was really similar, you know, where I would eat a lot. I would go out to lunch every day. We, I would just eat, eat, eat. But I was working out, you know, three hours a day, sometimes even longer because of weightlifting and whatnot. My metabolism was going, 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 and it could handle it. By no means is it ever healthy to overeat like that, even if you're working out. You should still watch your calories and stuff like that. It got it so when the marathon was over, it was hard to stop eating. And I'll be the first to admit I have, you know, like a binge eating disorder. I know it. I've never been like fully diagnosed with it, but I know I have it. There's a, I, I just know it. I'm just sick of feeling like this, guys. But it's something that has a hold of me, you know, just so tight that... I don't even know, and I'm probably rambling on and not making a lot of sense and jumping around to tangents and whatnot, but it's so hard because food is an addiction. And with like smoking or drinking or stuff like that, you can keep it out of the house and you can not be around it if you want. With food, it's hard because you live off food. Yes, you can make it so you don't buy it at the store, but there is always that temptation in the back of your head. And it sucks. I'm the type of person that if I do something, I do it all the way. Or I don't do it at all. When I did the marathon, I got my mind to it and I did it. I ran the full marathon and did an excellent job. You know, I put my mind to it. I lost a bunch of weight. But as soon as my mind was shifted to, you know, I can start slacking off, I slacked off 100%. And I put on 100 pounds at least. Probably a little bit more. Um, I haven't weighed myself in probably two, three months just because I'm scared to get on the scale. I am scared to find out really where I am and what I've let myself go to and get to. I hate it because I want to take care of the body that I've been given, um, but this is the struggle that I have. Um, I'm sure there's many of you guys that had the same struggle, and I want to change. There's just so much I want to say, but... I don't know if I should say it on the vlog. Well, I want to change for me. I want to change for Shailene. And I want to change for Jax. Because I'm not being the... The me that is best. The thing that's going to make it difficult is... We're in the process of moving. You know, we have everything packed up. And uh, when you're moving, it's just not easy to, to eat in and to, to eat at home and prepare your food. But I just need to stop making excuses. Um, there's always, you know, I always am like, hey, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it Monday. Why can't right now be that Monday? Why can't I just do it? Just do it, Kurt. And it kills me just to talk about it in the vlog again. You know, if you go back over the, you know, almost 700 vlogs that we have, I guarantee there's probably at least five of these where I have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with myself, to my family, and to the viewers that we have, and the... I appreciate you guys for listening to me vent and everything, but... It's so freaking 
hard. You know, I was talking to um, Shilling's sister, and uh, I think we want to start a diet back here soon. And when I originally lost all my weight, you know, I did it on diet bet. In fact, um, when I was telling her about it, I told her how much of a punch in the gut it was. Reason being is I'll show you why. When I had lost all my weight originally, I um, did it on diet bet. You know, not that that was like the main contributor to me losing weight or anything, but it was a motivator. It was really good. If you sign in to the diet bet website, right here, watch this, diet bet. If you push the diet bet website and app, watch this. You pull it up the sign in page, guess who's on it? Me. My freaking weight loss picture as a success story. Fact of the matter is I am not a success right now. I will say that I am proud of myself for not ever fully giving up even though I kind of have over the last two years. Allowing me to get back to this this place. But I have the desire deep down to to be better. And I'm curious, you know, I just thought about this on the top of my head and no pressure to any of you guys. I'm curious if any of you guys would be interested in doing a diet bet. Uh, we could set one up, you know, if you lose the weight, you make your money back. If you don't, um, everyone else splits up your money. And we could do it as a you know really low amount, or we can do it as a you know a medium amount, high amount. I think that'd be kind of cool to get a group together, to become healthy together, to hit our goals, to feel good. I miss feeling good. You know, I come home and I lay around. If you remember back to the beginning of these vlogs, if you go back, I was pretty thin. I was not to my thinnest point, but I would come home and I would have the energy to do stuff around the house, to play with my son, to love Shailene as much as I can. And I love her, you know, emotionally and stuff, you know, but, you know, physically being there for her, it's tough. And it's all my fault. Maybe what I need to do is start posting again on you know, my second channel, my fat to fit Kurt account, where I had posted a ton of videos. That's where originally where I started YouTube. Keep me on track to, to just be better, to keep it on my mind consistently. Now this is rambling on like crazy and I appreciate you guys, like I said, for allowing me a day like this to just to vent because these are the things that have been going through my head, eating at me. And I know Shailene can feel it as well, that that I'm just struggling. And I, that there's a part deep down inside of me that wants to, and for a fact of the matter, is needs to change. You know, it's hard to just not be the father and husband that your your family deserves. I'm not saying that I don't think I'm doing like a decent job, because I know that I'm doing okay. However, at the same time with saying that, I am not being the best father and husband I can be. You know, so I'm challenging myself right now to be better. Be healthier. Screw it. I just made up my mind. I am going to go weigh in right now and join a diet bet. I'm not going to tell you about the diet bet I'm joining right now unless you ask specifically directly to me. Um, but if you guys want to join another diet bet, I would be more than happy to do a second one. Um, I think it'd be kind of fun to even maybe have like a little group, like a Facebook group or something like that where we can all get together and talk and make it just like a very intimate group where we can keep it like close, tight knit and with a specific people that have a direct course to, to health. Ah, so frustrating because... When I even, even when I had lost 100 pounds, I was not close to, and I was pretty close to my um, ideal weight, but I still had some more to go. I just, it's frustrating because I could be there right now. I could be the person I want to be, you know. I could go outside and run, you know, 13 miles back then. No problem. You know, that was just like, you know, no big deal. Now if I were to get on the treadmill or go run outside, it would be a struggle big time anyways enough of me chit chatting let's I, I did not find this but let's go jump on the scale and I don't know if I've ever showed you guys in this pet in the past but I'm gonna show you guys what I weigh and I don't even care so here we go let's go do it here we go let's see what I weigh in as <laughs> that's 
freaks me out, I'm not gonna lie. Get my watch to see a little bit of weight. Honestly, it's not as bad as I guessed, but pretty bad. Dang it, I missed it. I missed it for taking the picture for the diet bet, so I'll have to weigh in again. But, good thing is I wasn't quite as bad as I thought I was. Not good by any means, but I was guessing I was like 340, but not quite so bad, but I got a lot of work to do. So let's do this again. I just got on, it's thinking 326.9. Gotta take my picture. So the good thing is I knocked my highest weight ever. Highest weight ever was 335.8, but my lowest I got was 235.8. So I got a long way to go, but I can do this. I can succeed. Let's go. So I need to get my weight put in. I already joined it, put my money in, it's gone. But I'm gonna win it back plus some. So like I said, if you guys are interested in joining it, right, but just leave a link, leave a comment down below. I would love to have that little bit extra motivation to talk to people on a daily basis, let people know how we're doing, and listening to you guys and um, talking to you guys and just, uh, I'm ready. I am ready. Future Kurt, three months from now, six months from now, a year from now, 20 years from now, remember this freaking moment, how you felt, because you are gonna thank yourself for just, uh, for the changes you're about to make, you are going to succeed. You are going to feel good. You are going to be the father, husband, and person that you want to be and that you deserve to be. Anyways, this is rambling on. Let's go.